2006 Chrysler Sebring with uh, I think it's a 2.4 liter engine it's a four cylinder <clears throat> we have a uh, transmission problem and uh, the code we have it's a P0700 as the generic in a power control module and uh, we have a code uh, TCM power relay sense circuit it's a P0888 the um, it's a hard code you can um, as soon as you um, clear codes that you'll come back which is good it's easier to find a problem now here it's a diagram and uh, you can see it is a, um, a power side switched uh, the, we have a power coming from fuse 9 and then uh, this is a control uh, power side of the relay and it will uh, send the power to a, um, a solenoid pack which has already been replaced the relay was replaced and then uh, control side you can see we have a ground uh, G108 uh, it's near uh, left uh, head, head lamp and then uh, power control module is going to supply power to a, a relay now um, something interesting about a car when I looked at it first time I noticed a uh, white wire on a uh, driver's side near to headlight and uh, asked the owner what's the reason for the wire he said that the uh, headlight has was dim and he added a extra ground wire for the headlight to work now you can see this have the uh, G108 that's the ground I like a look at the uh, diagram for a uh, ground and uh, the 108 also feeds a left headlamp okay let's uh, look at the uh, car now there is the uh, TCM uh, relay this fuse number 9 20 amp was blown most likely because they were you know moving stuff around replace the fuse and uh, right now I have my I'm gonna get my test light to battery ground now this is my uh, adapter and uh, since I don't have I, I, I don't like to struggle looking up you know what's my control side what's the uh, load side of the of the relay so I added these wires so the black and red is my uh, control side and green and blue is my load side now I have a uh, my test light the battery ground and uh, I'm connected one side you can see we have a power on one leg and we go now with car running we should have a power on this leg as well this, this relay should close send the power to a uh, solenoid pack so the relay is not closing now with a uh, test light on power on, on ground we should have we should see a power coming from the, uh, uh, the power control module nothing on this leg nothing on this leg so PCM it's not turning this relay but if it's an active code it may not do it anyway so we need to check next we look at for the ground on this relay so I'm gonna move my test light to battery positive and see if I'm getting the ground on a control side of the relay from that 108 ground point okay so my test light is on battery positive and I'm checking one leg of this control side of the relay but nothing other side nothing so I'm not having a uh, power ground from this uh, point here now I'm gonna have to actually remove the headlight to see if I can find that uh, ground okay the uh, next step I uh, this so this is my uh, ground side of my uh, con control side of the relay and uh, with, that, with the circuit open we have a half a volt which is already too much now I have my uh, test light connected to a battery positive so I'm gonna load it up this circuit and uh, look at the voltage see what happens so of course the headlight I mean my test light is not light lit up but look at this a 13 and a half volts direct open circuit so there is an open between a uh, you know between this point and the uh, fuse box so first I'm gonna get all this cleaned up uh, this eyelet here most likely my problem is in, in these wires anyway and uh, then uh, we'll go from somebody already clean up this post but I think you can see it's light up here see that there's my problem right there so when I'm on the body positive here I'm good here I'm good and I touch it here nothing so that's my it's better here nothing here so there's a multiple wires that comes into this uh, into this point here and uh, so we see that I'm on this point so anyhow I need to get all this cleaned up and it should be fine 
So this is the wire that he added actually to the headlights for a uh, extra ground. And uh, so when I looked at the diagram, this ground 108 was the same one that feeds the headlight as well. So there was kind of red flag right there that we have a problem on the ground side of this uh, of this relay. I did not have an eyelet that's big enough for all of the wires, but I I put in three of and this this would be fine. I cut enough to uh, get all the corroded wires off the uh, harness and uh, this should take care of it. Well, still no fix. Got all this taken care of. I still have the same problem. Still no ground. My uh, test light is on a battery positive. I'm on this uh, ground circuit on a control side of the relay. My test light is not lighting and if I uh, react, uh, let's see here now. Uh, 500 millivolts of a voltage drop to the circuit open and when I loaded the circuit it still goes down pretty much to zero I mean for 13 volts which is completely open circuit alright I need to open up now the uh, fuse box and see if there's a broken wire in the fuse box itself okay so uh, what I did now I took a uh, the jumper wire to the ground and connect it to my ground side of the control side of the circuit. Now, if you don't know how to do this, don't because if you mix this up, you're gonna fry your power control module. Okay, be very careful. Identify which side of the circuit is power. I mean, your your uh, ground, which part of the side of the circuit is your uh, control. And uh, so right now, I'm uh, getting my uh, ground lead connected straight to my uh, to my ground side of my control relay, and uh, here's my. Uh, control side and uh, now computer is energizing my relay we got 13 volts here so let's see if uh, now it works see we should have a battery voltage on both sides of this uh, load side of the circuit and uh, so basically I'm still having an open wire so there's a 13 volts here and now we should have 13 volts here There you go. Now the, uh, the uh, relay is closed and uh, the uh, uh, solenoid pack is getting the power. I checked my codes. All I have is uh, this 499. No other codes are present. So, um, definitely an open wire. So what I'm going to do now, I already talked to the owner. Instead of digging through the harness for now, unfortunately I just have to cut the wire, the red and black, uh, yeah, black and red wire and connect it straight to the ground, get it to my garage, and then, you know, dig further to find where the problem is. But for now, uh, this will, that's what I have to do. Okay, so I was pulling on my wire, and it uh, seems like my ground is actually right there. And this is my, uh, the, uh, also I have a code for a uh, purge, no, is it purge? Well, it doesn't matter. So anyhow, I was pulling the wire, and uh, it kind of goes to this direction here and uh, there's this ground point so I'm gonna and it's also corroded so I'm gonna repair this and see if that's my you know most likely it's not an open wire it's just the ground that's bad so the corroded ground so I was maybe maybe the diagram wasn't right or something I'm not sure but uh, let's get this one fixed all right so what I did uh, I uh, yeah I cut the uh, ground wire and uh, connected right on this uh, post here and uh, so let's check it now this is my uh, power side we should have a 12 volts on both of these legs so I mean body voltage 13.2 13.2 and then uh, across these two we should have a we should have a battery voltage We got a little bit of voltage drop uh, across the relay, but uh, yeah, that's good. All right, this is a problem on the ground side of this uh, on, on this relay, and um, now I did actually find uh, it was it fooled me because the diagram showing that the, the ground point for this is here, but it's not; it's actually right there. On that now, actually, I on the wire I found that black and red wire. I ohm it from this point to that, and it's open somewhere in between. So. You know, changing that eyelet there wouldn't make any difference at all. So it's just a broken wire in between. 
So now, are there any other wires? Maybe, maybe not. But uh, for now, I mean, this works fine. So um, basically, all I did is just uh, change the uh, ground point. And um, if they want me to uh, investigate more, to tear the harness up and find exactly where it's broken, I can do that and just uh, rewire the game. So, but I don't think they will. And uh, that's it. Okay, guys. Well, uh, this one is fixed. If they again, if they want me to do it, it would be so much easier if I get the car in the shop and uh, get all the tools and you know, clean and drive, which is not easy to do it. But at least it's fixed. So uh, that's it. That's how we test the relay, and uh, it's all good. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.